Hey guys, Marcin in here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today we are going to be taking our first look here and getting a good first impression of the STR Blue Kaioken Goku now that he has his EZA over on the global side. Uh, we are running him on one of his 200% leads which is actually the Orange Piccolo team. Um, he has multiple 200% leads, uh, both Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo because obviously he is on superheroes. Uh, the LR Gods, um, the 8 year an uh, anniversary LR, the GT Duo, and then obviously Bardock because he has 200% lead for most Gokus. Uh, the Resurrection of F Blues, Yamcha, uh, God Goku, and then both the Part 2 LRs in fact, he's on their 200% team. However, the difficulty with this unit comes down to building his team, right? Because say for example you want to use Physical God Goku and he's on his 200% leader skill. The biggest thing about this guy and the biggest drawback to using him, it doesn't really show much in his passive. Uh, ideally, you want to be running one Universe Survival Saga um, ally uh, or you have a Universe Survival Saga enemy because that means he has a guard and a high chance to launch an additional, oh, sorry, launch additional attack that has a high chance to become a super with the Universe Survival Saga ally or enemy from five turns from the start of the turn. So that's fine, you only need one. But the big thing with this guy is the spirit bomb because not only can it do a crazy amount of damage by itself it then makes everybody else in the turn do a bunch of extra damage but you can only use this when you have another three representatives of universe 7 on the team so not just him so if you want to run physical god goku's team i mean the go-to like two main units are both the ui goku lrs so that's two and then mvp 17 has a really good easy a now so he can be pretty decent but He's not on God Goku's leader skill because he's not a pure or hybrid Saiyan. So then you're finding yourself having to use something like Blue Evolution Vegeta or I guess like that, that's pretty much it, right? Like in UI Goku, because when it comes to reps of Universe 7 and then pure Saiyans, it's just a couple of different versions of Goku and Vegeta. Now, when the LR Blue uh, Evolution and Blue Koken like duo get their EZA, that'll be a pretty cool option. They're also a decent link partner for him. Um, but until then, it kind of limits how you can build the teams with him. Now, if you don't want to get the Spirit Bomb, which is kind of weird because it's a big part of his kit, he can still be solid without it, and you just need the one Universe Survival Saga ally, which is cool because this MVP 17 really does like fit the bill uh, for that. But let's go ahead and see uh, what we can get here on the first turn. So we have defensive support from 17. Uh, we're at 225k defense on the first turn. Uh, this guy's getting 159% attack and defense. Obviously, we have the guard for the first five turns because we have the Universe Survival Saga ally. He gets 10% attack and defense with each attack received, up to 59%. He gets an additional 59% attack when performing a super, and then an additional 59% attack, and attacks effective against all types when HP is 59% or less when supering once only. So if you can get that like with the Spirit Bomb turn as well, then he really can go absolutely crazy. So 6.1 on the first turn. Um, not too bad. Get an additional normal here with a crit. Um, his super attack, he greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn. So he infinitely stacks attack and it does build up fairly quickly. It's a greatly raise and then, yeah, raises defense for one turn. So you can see there with the guard coming in, he tanks uh, the normal attacks for double digits, which is obviously what we would want to see but this is where it starts to get kind of sketchy right like i say we don't really want to be running these uh, ui gokus on the team anyway um but i'm definitely not putting the uh the agl one in those slots there um because i mean even the str one here if he doesn't dodge these normal attacks um they could do a decent amount of damage if he doesn't dodge a super um, then he really could be in trouble, so we'll see. Now, obviously, when it comes to uh, the next anniversary, the nine year, which obviously, you know, is like a year away for Global, of course, a year away for Global, uh, the AGL UI Goku will get his easy A. Oh, my God, that damage. Oh, my goodness me. And he didn't dodge either. And this is the problem with running Blue Koken Goku, is you have to run mid-units like this. 
Okay, so we've jumped back in now for a second attempt. We got past the first phase this time. Uh, Piccolo actually stunned Cell, so Goku has only been uh, Goku hasn't been hit now. He did double super in the first turn though, which got him up to an eight million attack stat linked up with the STR uh, UI Goku, who didn't have to worry about dodging because the enemy was stunned. Um, but now we have AGL UI Goku on the rotation, so we'll see if the uh, See if the dodging comes in clutch on this turn. Now, not taking hits early on is going to be kind of bad because obviously we get 10% extra defense with each hit that we take and we build up to 59%, which, you know, that can make a very big difference as we get further into the event. But 8.35. Um, now, obviously, this guy, because he has a uh, guaranteed extra attack that has a high chance to become a super, we need that to be converting into a super uh, you know, as often as possible, because that gives us extra defense for the turn. It gives us another greatly uh, raising attack stack. And then, of course, there's the additional from the hidden potential, uh, although unfortunately it was only a normal attack. So now he's been hit twice. Um, so that's just twice in total now. 20% extra attack and defense. Um, please, UI Goku, actually dodge the attacks at the end of the turn. All right, there's one. Okay, 80k. All right, I guess it's not as bad as the uh, some of the previous ones, but um, all right. So uh, I guess we can. We can probably just throw you in slot one here, actually. So we'll do this. Uh, grab these for you, and then you're going to get hit and get extra key to the rest of the rotation anyway. So we might as well just grab these. Um, all right. So looking a bit better this time around. Two hits on Goku. Now, the problem, again, with this team especially, is when it comes to Goku's link partners. So I'm looking at his best link partners here now. And they are units like uh, the, bl the blue duo that I mentioned, right? Blue Kaioken and uh, Blue Evolution, the duo LR. Um, but obviously, they're kind of unusable nowadays. Uh, the AGL god Goku that got his easy A during Saiyan Day, but he's kind of mid. Um, and then when it comes to five link partners, we have the uh, LR gods from the seven year who are still definitely runnable. Blue Gogeta, the STR LR, who's about to get his EZA very soon. Um, and then we have the, uh, <laughs> the STR UI Goku. Um, God Goku, both the LR and the physical. Um, the Tech God Goku, God Vegeta. Uh, Tech Vegito Blue. Like, there's a couple of good units that he shares good links with. But did you notice any sort of pattern with any of those units? Uh, yeah, one of the big ones is that none of them are representatives of Universe 7 characters. Um, the ones that are actually runnable. So, that's going to be the biggest problem with this guy. Is he has potential. But, I mean, look at this rotation. We have two links active. But when you look at the team... Um, I brought Piccolo along just to either link up with the tech Piccolo, like the physical one here, to link up with the tech one and also for the scouter. But like everyone else on the team are the reps of Universe 7 that I have to bring if I want to get the spirit bomb with Goku. So this is probably my biggest um, pet peeve, I guess you could call it or whatever, right, about this Goku. I'm actually going to put... Let's put him in slot one so we can get these hits in here, right? Because he's going to heal in slot one, then we get to super, and then he's attacking three times because we need to get him built up as quickly as possible, really. Um, so he's at 270k at the start of the turn. So, and that's with the support from MVP 17. So, like, even after a double super, he's still only going to be looking at, what, being over 400, maybe like 450k defense. With guard is good, but... It's definitely not the craziest. Obviously, his sheer power comes from his absolute damage output ability. Because we're up to 8.8. .8. And of course, actually, depending on whether we get lucky with the additional supers here, uh, we might actually just kill Cell. Which then means we're not going to take any additional attacks. So yeah, there we go. Now, it's cool that we got the additional from the hidden potential. But that means that we kill Cell. We're up to 9.3 now, which is pretty good. Like I say, the damage output is this guy's ace in the hole. Um, but honestly, I do wonder, with the power of some of the teams now, I feel like a lot of people would think that this is crazy, but you're obviously leaving a lot of power just on the table if you don't run enough reps of Universe 7 to activate the Spirit Bomb with this Goku. But, like, I feel like overall, the team will just be better if you don't, right? Because, like I said, 
Um, teams like the GT Duo, he's on their 200% lead. MVP17 is on their team. And then you can fill the rest of that team with units that are actually good and units that share links with him. So I feel like his performance, outside of not being able to do the Spirit Bomb, his performance overall on those team setups is going to be way better than it is here, where we're getting units that either share like two links with him or their units like, you know, STR UI Goku, who, yeah, that's cool that he's activating five of this Goku's links, but then if he doesn't dodge attacks, we die against some of the more difficult events, right? And then, like, don't even get me started on uh, trying this guy out against Broly, because if we try this guy out against Red Zone Broly, neither of the UIs can dodge. Um, so, I mean, I guess we could bring, like, MVP17... AGL Blue Vegeta and then like the In LR Blue Evolution Vegeta, but I mean that's uh, that's getting a little bit shaky on those terms. So let's try this out here and see what we get from Goku. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about UI in the last slot, of course, but I mean what can I do, right? I guess I, I mean I could use an item here, but like I do want to get the um, I do want to get the Spirit Bomb. Um, and to activate the Spirit Bomb, not only do we have to bring these allies, but we have to uh, get to 59% or less HP. So I think if I pop one Whis here, I think we are fairly likely that we should be able to get to the HP threshold. It depends who gets hit. Because I'm not sure, but even with one Whis active, I think there's the possibility that... Oh, he's stunned. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, even with one Whis active, I think there's the possibility that he would have killed uh, UI Goku. But especially with a super... He's up to 12.2 now. Now, that's where the numbers get impressive, right? Now, imagine when STR UI Goku gets an easy A and becomes actually runnable again. Because then this rotation is looking spicy. Because you put this UI Goku in slot 1, get the dodges, and if he doesn't dodge, he's not just getting immediately clapped. Then you have Kaioken Goku in slot 2, who's doing stuff like that, 12 million attack stat. Like, then we're looking good. But unfortunately, until those easy A's happen, I mean, this is the situation that we're kind of stuck in, right? Where we are just using um, these units that are not really accomplishing very much um, just because they have to be run on the team in order to get the Spirit Bomb. Um, and we can see both the Supers here. They're both... Get Actually, no, there's only one, isn't there, this turn on uh, Tech Piccolo. Um, I was trying to avoid the Supers a little bit because I didn't want to keep stunning him. I guess Cell was probably not necessarily the best event, but again, this is kind of just a first impression, like, and of course you can stun as well, okay. This is just a first impression kind of run, and like I said, you can call me crazy, but I feel like, for me personally, rather than, like, desperately trying to get the Spirit Bomb, which not only requires the allies, but the HP restriction, say, like, I, the example I gave, we're running him on the, boot, uh, the GT Duo team, We've got both of them with their revive, well, obviously going to use one, the revive spirit bomb. We could run the boo duo on the team with the crazy charged up spirit bomb. It's like, do we really need blue Koken Goku's spirit bomb? Um, I think it's just one of those things where the event, like, we really need a, like, powerful new, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a strong new uh, tournament of power like event or the um universe 6 versus universe 7 tournament right because those characters count as reps of universe 7 as well i'm gonna get the dokon attack here as well this is always the biggest problem with um characters that have hp restriction like abilities because like not only are we struggling to even get to that point but we're also now we're also now going to heal from the dokon attacks i'm not going to hit any of the nodes here um because then depending on how we go on the next turn Oh, of course, I just realised, right? I was going to say, we could stall um, and not heal too much, but I'm pretty sure both the Piccolos are built up enough now that going into the next turn, we're going to get the full heal off of their ability. <laughs> Which uh, is not actually ideal in this scenario. So, yeah, I think you can see the biggest issue with this Goku. 16.38, though. I mean... <laughs> That's, that's pretty good. At least he's going off, right? We're not able to get the Spirit Bomb here, but my man's putting out numbers. So, let's see. Do we get the full heal? Uh, no, because we, oh, we get a bit of a heal off the Dokon attack. So, hmm. How do I want to play this here? 
Will Piccolo just eat this super? I think he will. Let me get some HP anyway. So we're gonna we should eat the super here. And then we just need to rely on UI Goku at the end to not sell. And then I think we could get the spirit bomb. But it's annoying with HP restrictions anyway, but like having to jump through hoops to get these abilities. And especially because oh, okay, well. Especially because we like nerfed the team by bringing bad units. So then when you can't even get to the HP threshold to use the spirit bomb, that all feels very disappointing. Now, obviously, one of the counter arguments I've seen people use is obviously by bringing these units who are a little bit subpar, that helps you lose HP to get to the spirit bomb. Because remember, the spirit bomb only has an HP restriction. It doesn't have a turn restriction. So if we were to get hit on like turn one on UI Goku, and drop below 59% HP, then we would be able to use the Spirit Bomb straight away. The problem with that, of course, is if we haven't been attack stacking with Goku for very long, then obviously we're not going to do crazy damage. <laughs> In that one turn as well, he couldn't have just not dodged the uh, second attack because that actually unironically would have put us to enough HP to do the Spirit Bomb. Uh, um... Yeah, I feel like we're just not getting it at this point now, right? Like, is it just me? Like, we're just we're not just not getting the spirit bomb now um, in this run. I don't think because uh, everything RNG wise seems to just be working against us. Like, if UI Goku hadn't dodged that second normal attack, we would have lost enough health to be below fifty nine percent HP. But of course, he did dodge that second attack. So here we are now. I mean, we're probably... Like, we're going to beat the event. Um, we did use items, of course. Oh, Piccolo. Oh, okay. Piccolo actually taking some damage. I don't know if maybe this one is not as built up. I guess he wasn't linked up with the physical Piccolo as well. Although now we have to make it to the next Spirit Bomb turn. Which means we're either going to die. UI Goku's either going to get healed, killed here. Or we're just going to get the full heal with uh, Piccolo on the next turn. But 13 million attack stat. I mean, that's pretty good for an easy ATUR. 8.3 million crit. There's a level 3 dodge as well. Watch him dodge and then UI Goku will be the one that doesn't dodge. Um. <laughs> Come on, let's see what happens. Okay, you're going to get the additional, alright. Do a tiny extra little chip of damage. It's crazy to think how like this guy was probably like hands down the best unit in the game when he came out. And then seeing what he's like now is uh, a little bit disappointing. But, you know, what can you do? Like I say, he's going to get his easy A uh, during the ninth anniversary. So, all right, he dodged both the attacks. And there's the full heal from Piccolo, yeah. So we're not getting the Spirit Bomb here. Uh, unless, yeah, let's not super with you. Oh, no, he's going to get hit and get super, isn't he? Well... Maybe, since the previous Piccolo did actually take a lot of damage on this turn, maybe this Piccolo will take a big bit of damage here and we could actually end with the Spirit Bomb. Because with the rotation ending with two physical units, there's obviously the possibility that we're not really going to do that much damage. Because if they don't crit, they really are not going to do a lot of damage to him. So, alright, come on, Cell. Hit me with... Oh, we've got defensive support from 17 as well. Like, I really don't think this is going to do that much damage. Let's see... Yeah, okay. So when he's linked up with Piccolo and you have defensive support, then yeah, you're not taking any damage here. So, I mean, yeah, this is the thing, right? Like, I could re-record this video. I could sit here for ages trying to redo runs to get the Spirit Bomb. But when I do these, like, first impression showcases, once the unit has gotten an easy A, or when it's a, like, 55% showcase for a new unit that comes out, I like these showcases to be, like, a realistic showcase of what happens when you use the unit. And so, yeah. You saw how the event played out. Like, we got unlucky at a bunch of uh, turns, for sure. But, yeah, we just could not get the uh, Spirit Bomb in this run. Which is super disappointing, because it's, like, the main reason why you run this Goku, really. I mean, he is putting out a ton of extra attack power. Like I said, I think you could make an argument that even without the reps of Universe 7 allies, he could still be good. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Maybe I'll make a video using him on one of these 200% teams with his really good link partners and then one 
reps of Universe 7 or Universe Survival Saga so we can get the guard and the extra attack for the five turns. But I genuinely think he could still be pretty good because he's doing attack stats like that. Bearing in mind in this run, we didn't get the Spirit Bomb. So using those two UI Gokus essentially was a complete waste of time. And he still looked really good in that run. So... I genuinely feel like, at least for me personally, if I'm going to use him in the future for events, until these reps of Universe 7 characters get buffs, like, what? why even use them, right? Like, just forego the Spirit Bomb for now, I don't know. But obviously, the, you know, the Spirit Bomb, you can do some funny shenanigans, big damage, buffing everyone else on the team. In short events, it is pretty cool that you can get it out super early, but if you can, of course. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of Blue Kai Ken Goku's Easy A. When it came out on JP, uh, and some people even now think he's the best Easy A TUR. I mean, with numbers like that, attack-wise, I can kind of see why. Defense-wise, he's definitely not like the craziest, but... Um, yeah, I mean, that whole run, we just could not get the Spirit Bomb. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.